Welcome to another GameCube collection update and I have got a lot of epic updates for you all today so let's just jump right in. For those of you who are new to the GameCube Collection Update series, this is a series of videos where I go over with you GameCube pickups that were off screen, off camera. Not all of them are off screen or off camera, but most of them were basically outside of a main hunting episode on the channel. And then at the end of the video, I will give you all of the numbers of where we are at so far on rebuilding the GameCube Collection as far as what I've spent, market value, how much I've saved, all of that good stuff. And I've got a lot to go over today, so let's go ahead and get into the first thing, which are these awesome GameCube bobbleheads. I didn't even know that these bobbleheads existed. So we got Mario holding a GameCube, and then we got Fox from Star Fox Adventures. These things are so freaking cool. I bought them both on eBay as a pair for a great price. They're in fantastic condition. And I did a YouTube short on these. If you wanna learn more, I'll leave a link to that short in the description down below. But I was very, very happy to add these awesome freaking bobbleheads to the collection. Next up, from the man, the myth, the legend, Adam, AKA the Retro Beard on Instagram. You guys have seen him in several of my videos. He makes those amazing video game console signs if you want to learn more about those check out his instagram page at the retro beard he has hooked me up with many gamecube games since i started this journey and i've got a new stack of games that i got from him three that i bought and then one game he had with no manual that i needed because i actually had the manual for it so let's go ahead and run through these real fast battalion wars mario power tennis need for speed most wanted and i already had the manual for mario party 7 and he just so happened to have a copy without a manual so that worked out perfect and i actually got a little bit of footage from that to share with you all so check that out right now adam the retro beard on instagram check him out for awesome acrylic handmade signs link in the description below is hooking me up with more gamecube games for a great prize dude I'm, I'm i swear when it's all said and done i'm probably going to be getting at least <laughs> a fourth to a third of my collection from you so a lot of gamecube a lot of gamecube a lot of gamecube this man has been a great source for my collection, and, I, and as always, I appreciate it. So, what are we looking at here, man? What do we got? So, Battalion Wars, Need Great for game. Speed Mode Wanted, game. and Mario Power. Great game. Yes. Three fantastic games, all complete in box yeah. on the GameCube. These are gonna be great additions to the collection, and now I think I think I have every Mario sports game on the GameCube now. I'm missing, and I, I'm missing Mario Party 7, so if you ever see that one, let me know, Mario Party 7. And I am, and actually, I, I have a manual for it. So I'm just looking for a copy with no manual. Yeah, you got one, really. Good. <laughs> you heard it, folks. This was not staged. This was not staged. None of well, I mean, I don't ever do staged stuff, but this was not. This legit just happened. He has a copy with no manual, and I have a manual. So we might be working out a deal. Yeah. We might be working out a deal for that. But dude, as always, I appreciate you hooking me up for sure. uh, with these GameCube games. All right, folks, back to the game room. So Adam, dude, if you're watching, thank you, brother, for hooking me up with great deals to help with the GameCube collection. Next up, we have a couple of games I actually picked up on Whatnot using some credits that I had available to spend on Whatnot. If you guys have not checked out Whatnot, I highly recommend it. It is a great platform to purchase games and just about anything you can think of on. I'll leave an invite link in the description down below. If you join using that invite link, you will get a free $10 credit that you can use towards a purchase on whatnot i'm not sponsored by them or anything like that but if you join using that link and spend your ten dollar credit that will also get a ten dollar credit for me so it's a great way to support the channel and that money goes towards building the gamecube collection so that link will be in the description down below but the two games that i got off whatnot were tonka rescue patrol and dragon ball z budokai <laughs> next up an awesome dude reached out to me named Robert, and he has said he had some GameCube games that I might be interested in, and one of those were the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Master Quest two game bonus disc set, and he hooked me up with this for a really good price. So Robert, brother, if you're watching, I really appreciate it. 
this helps out the collection quite a bit. Next up is a game that I picked up from the Buckeye Flea Market and Game Store, which we did a video on. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below, but I didn't quite cover it in the video, so I'm talking about it now, and that game is Strike Force Bowling. If you guys have not seen that hunting episode, check it out. It is a pretty good one. I think you'll enjoy it. So next up is something that it's always awesome when this happens. So me and Devin, you guys know Devin. He's been in many videos. He also edits the videos on the channel. We went to the storage unit to pull some things out of storage to sell and he found a bunch of GameCube games in a box that were his and two of them I went ahead and bought from him because he was going to sell them anyways and I needed these two for the collection and those games are The Hobbit and Gun. It's always a nice surprise whenever you discover games that were in storage or a basement or whatever that you didn't even know you had and that was the case there with him and then he was able to make a little bit of money off of it and help me out with the collection. Next up are a couple of trades. So the first trade is from my good friend Carl aka Retro Gaming Zone on Instagram. Most of you probably already know who he is. He has a huge Instagram following but in case you don't check him out on Instagram we worked out a trade I traded him some games for beautiful Joe on the GameCube which is an amazing game so Carl brother if you're watching really appreciate the trade and that's not the only trade also got a trade going with my friend Brian Weber on Instagram we worked out a trade and he hooked me up with two games I needed and those games are Bratz Forever Diamonds and Turok Evolution so Brian if you are watching I really appreciate you hooking me up with those two games in a trade next up are a couple of games that I purchased from a seller on Instagram, a reputable seller. His Instagram profile name is in 8 or I'll throw that up on the screen. I'll also leave that in the description down below. He is a great seller on Instagram. Highly recommend purchasing from him. I bought Goblin Commander Unleash the Horde and Worms Blast. And he had those listed for a great price. They're in fantastic condition, so I couldn't be happier with that deal. And I used money from the GameCube fund that I had from selling the games and items that I bought from my brother to resell. So I was able to get these games without spending any of my own money out of pocket. Ow. Oh God, I hope that was on camera. Next up, when I was on my way to Greenville, South Carolina, while I was in the town of Greenville, South Carolina to go hang out with Andy, Pac-Man Case, and Jay from NES Attic, as well as pick up Jeffrey the Giraffe for Retro Rick, I stopped at a game store called Video Game Cavern and I picked up a couple of games from there using money from the GameCube fund. And those two games are Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem and Freak Style. While hunting with Andy at a huge flea market, I picked up a couple of GameCube games from a few vendors at that flea market. But the two games that I got from flea market vendors in that episode are Tom and Jerry War of the Whiskers and Super Monkey Ball 2. And finally, while me and Devin were in the Little Rock, Arkansas area to deliver Jeffrey the Giraffe to Retro Rick, we went to Hot Springs, Arkansas to, to visit Retro Video Games, which is the store that was formerly known as Game Room Trading Post, which has been featured in several episodes of the Game Chasers. They also featured the new store under the new name in a new episode as well. And I picked up one game for the GameCube from that store, and that game is Red Faction 2. All right, everybody, the moment you've all been waiting for, what are the numbers looking like so far for the GameCube collection from the date of this video? Well, so far I have 305 complete in box black label games in the collection towards that 551 number. Now, that Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest bonus disc i do not count towards that number that along with the zelda collection and pokemon box they they do not count towards the number that i am going for they count towards that 554 number that some people consider but i'm going for the 551 retail released black label games that you could walk in any store that sold games and buy off a shelf now the total that i've spent of my own money so far so this is outside of trades outside of reselling and outside of free games that I've gotten every now and then. The total I've spent so far is $2,776. The total estimated market value of everything that I just mentioned, those 305 games, is $5,990, which means that so far I've spent around 46% of market value with a total savings of around $3,214. 
dollars. So I am under my 50% market value goal for rebuilding the collection. Now that is going to become harder and harder to do as we go along because pretty soon we're going to start getting into the really, really expensive games. So 2023 is going to be a challenge. It is going to be a true challenge, but that is it for today's GameCube collection update. Folks, let me know in the comments down below if you have anything to say about any of the games that I picked up. Let me know how you think I'm doing on the collection so far. I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in to the channel and the video. I really appreciate your support. The support has been fantastic late, lately, and you're all awesome. And I hope that you all have a great rest of the week. Until next time, keep playing games and having a good time, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Late.